swish and sway. I'm swishing, I'm swiping, but you won't hear me grabbing cause I'm left in my house today. I really dig it, I get it, it only takes a minute to keep my house looking this way. And you That's a good song to start out tea time with. Get on in here, everybody. Grab your cup of tea. I've got my me time mug. And oh boy, does this smell good. Oh, yeah. It's too hot to drink. Maybe I can slurp it. Mmm. Just a drop and it just gets it going. I'm, I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for sharing everybody this morning y'all shared over 60 times can you imagine that 60 times you shared our show and that is just we're helping people we're helping people get through this this horrible or ordeal we're going through and we're saving lives and that's why wearing a mask if you go out into the world you need to wear a mask not so much to protect you from the germs that are out there but to protect the germs you have from other people so if you look at it as i'm protecting you and you're protecting me and if we all do that it'll be good now one thing i have learned a couple of things since um i can't go get a haircut I have, have learned that you do not spray hairspray with your glasses on. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. Because I had to take, I had to wash them under the sink because I sprayed them with hairspray. Yeah, I sprayed them with hairspray. So, and you can't see anything when you spray your glasses with hairspray. It doesn't work. And another thing I've learned that, um, I'm about to run out of lipstick. My favorite lipstick. I'm about out of it. I am taking a Q-tip and digging into the bottom all the way down to the bottom to get just a little lipstick to put on. I think I have plenty of makeup, but you know, it's kind of crazy. And <sighs> anyway, I'm trying to keep my hair out of my eyes because it drives me nuts, so I spray it. I spray it, and it does pretty good. So folks, let's not cut our own hair. Your hairdresser will not like that. 
and let's not, I mean, trying to, my hairdresser promised, I mean, she asked people to promise her and I'm not one of them. She, she dyes my, she doesn't dye my hair. I've never had any dye on my hair. Uh, she said, please do not go buy a box, a box of, of hair dye and try to dye your own hair. Please don't do that. So I pulled it back behind my ears. It's getting to the point that I can put it behind my ears and that's good. And now today I'm not naked. This morning I was naked. Yep. N-E-K-E-D. Naked. Um, because I forgot my earrings this morning. So now I've got my earrings on and I feel a whole lot better. Is there anything that, that you do that makes you feel complete? Makes you feel totally complete. Like put on a spritz of um, perfume. I'm not, I'm not kind of, I'm not, I'm not um, a big perfume person. But, you know, putting my earrings on and lipstick is, is like the, the finishing touch, the crowning moment. Yeah, I've, I've cut my own hair too. And Robert's cut my hair a long time ago. And he said, honey, I can cut your hair. I said, oh, no, you can't. I do have some hair mousse. And I, my hairspray is a witch hazel hairspray. And it's made by Aveda, Aveda, however you want to pronounce it. And I put it on wet so it holds it in place. And then I brush it and it's, it looks kind of fluffy. And then I spray it again. To keep it from getting in my eyes. So keeping your hair so that it doesn't drive you nuts is the main thing. And then, you know, if I run out of lipstick, I do have, um, I found some chapstick that is purple, dark purple, burgundy. Chapstick, total hydration. So I guess I'll just, it's too sticky for me, but oh well. I'll use all the lipstick I got until I have no more and I'll scrape the bottom of the tube and I'll be fine. We'll get through this. So let's drink up. Now, yesterday we came up with eight things. If we just do these eight things every day, these eight things will make our homes look and feel wonderful. And here's what those eight things are. And I'm going to divide it up into, um, right now I have nine things. So the first thing you do in the morning is make your bed. Number one, make your bed. Make your bed. Then go to your bathroom and get dressed to lace up shoes. I'm going to add another thing to the list. Pick out your clothes for tomorrow. So that's part of your before bed routine. So tonight, and you can do it right now while we're, we're, we're talking. You can pick out your clothes for tomorrow. You can lay them in a neat little pile. You can put them on a coat hanger. And this is everything from underwear to socks to your top and your pants. We kind of need a uniform. I wear black pants every day, whether they're jeans or, or uh, right now I have on some yoga pants that are, my, a Ben calls them nurse pants because they have a side pocket in them. I put my phone in, but I don't need to carry my phone with me because it stays on my stand. And I have my little air, ear earbuds that I, AirPods that I wear all the time to listen to the different podcasts I'm going through. So pick out your clothes for tomorrow. You can do it right now. Get dressed to lace up shoes. Make your bed. So uh, these are not in any particular order. Swish and swipe your bathroom while you're in there. I like to swish mine at night too. Uh, De this is the one I added this morning. Declutter for 15 minutes every day. Whether it's five minutes in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Just five minutes. We can do five minutes. It's not going to kill us. Do a load of laundry every day. And if you have a big family, you might need to do two loads of laundry. 
and then empty your dishwasher. I just got through running my dishwasher, so when I get through with this, I can go empty it and I'll be ready to take, take on the dishes from dinner. Uh, shine your sink. I have been, I fixed a sink full of hot soapy water and my purple, no, was, I got a silver rag in my sink right now and I wipe down all my counters. Every time I go in the kitchen, I'm, I'm swishing and swiping my kitchen. That sink full of hot soapy water helps me to swish and swipe my kitchen. Uh, hot spots. Hot spots is just a swish and swipe of, swipe of a flat surface. And what's for dinner? I'm going to make chicken and dumplings for dinner. I don't know what else, but I'm going to make chicken and dumplings. And the, my chicken broth is cooking right now. And I'm going to make some simple dumplings. And all it is is plain flour, not self-rising flour, plain flour, a cup of milk, and about a cup and a half of plain flour and salt. You got to put salt in it if you use plain fl flour. Now hamburgers sound pretty good. And then you roll them out thin. I like mine really thin. I roll them out on paper, not on paper towels, on either parchment paper or wax paper. And I use a pizza cutter to cut lines and across, and then I use a spatula to dump them in the boiling chicken broth. And there you have it. Uh, today I, I got all of, I had, we had Mexican food for dinner last night. We had fajitas. And what I've done is I put the salsa and some chili I had left over, about a cup of chili, the, a little bit of salsa in a jar, the fajita mix that I had left over, and some refried beans in a big Ziploc bag, added a little water to it, put it in the freezer, and then next week I will make a fajita soup. Do I have a recipe? No. But I have about a quart and a half of a Ziploc bag that is going to make the most amazing soup. I may add a can of Rotel to it. And oh my goodness, it'll be wonderful. Now, while you're staying at home, now would be the time to build your control journal. We have all the directions on our website, or you can you can buy one and download it and start you know filling in the blanks and get it in your office in a bag. Bring your own sunshine. I love that. So today I walked into my my studio. And my whole floor is lit up with rainbows because I put my little prisms up on my tree branch and it makes me happy. So being in this room, seeing rainbows on the floor makes me happy. Rainbows make me happy. I love it. I absolutely love it. So let's take a drink. Mm, of our wonderful tea. My nose is itching. Scott says it's psychosomatic when I when you get on the show. I got my little coaster right here that Robert made for me. So doing things that help you to feel special. Wearing clothes that fit you help you to feel special. You know, wearing clothes that are too tight, you're uncomfortable all day. Wearing shoes that don't fit, that's horrible too. So get a pair of shoes that fit your feet well. I have a funny story about split pea soup. One time I made the most amazing vat, I call it a vat, of split pea soup. I ha and, and I have some split peas and I have some great um, broth that I made from a country ham. And I can make the most delicious split peas you've ever eaten. I'm not going to make it today, but I can make it. But one time I made a pot of split pea soup and I needed to taste of it. So I put some in a cup, just a little cup. And I had a brand new computer. And I was sitting down at my computer in my chair with my little cup of split pea soup. 
and the little cup that I had, the little cup that I had went, it burped and it went bloop and it popped the soup out of the cup. It was like a cannon and it went poof right on to my new keyboard on my laptop. And the first thing I did was flip it upside down on the coffee table. And Michael had to get me a new keyboard for because you couldn't get that split pea soup out of the keyboard. So now I laugh about split pea soup and I call it spilt pea soup because that's what I did. I, it didn't spill it, but it burped on my, onto my keyboard. It went bloop and plopped right down on, you know, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. And there's spilt pea soup all over your brand new keyboard. I learned a big lesson. You don't eat around your computer. You don't drink around your computer. You be real careful with your computer because your computer is your baby or mine is for me. And mine is my, my connection to you. I think that's what's kept me sane through this, this whole ordeal is being able to talk to you twice a day. I do not put scent in my, my humidifier because I don't like strong smells, but my tea smells, it's very light. I love it. I love it. I love it. So having tea with you in the afternoon, I started it because back in last summer, I started doing it because I knew I wouldn't do it for me, but I would do it for you. Just like I'll wear a mask for you. I wouldn't do it for me, but I would wear a mask for you. And we'll do things for other people. We will. We'll do things for other people when we won't do it for ourselves. But we have to learn to put our oxygen mask on first. Those of you who have flown, you've seen seen them doing the demonstration of what, what happens when the oxygen mask drop down. They tell you to put your oxygen mask on first. And that goes against everything as a mother that we believe in. But it is important for you to take care of you right now because you've got to take care of the rest of your family. And if you don't take care of you, who will take care of the family? So you got to do it for you. So spending this 15, 20 minutes with, with, with all of us here together is taking care of you. It's slowing things down. It's thinking about, you know, the fly lady immersion class that we've been doing. So now we have 10 things on our list, 10 things. I'm going to go over them again and let's break them up into before bed routine. So your before bed routine is pick out your clothes for tomorrow. Make sure your dishwasher is empty so that you start the day out with an empty dishwasher and shine your sink. That's your before bed routine. Your morning routine, that's three steps right there. And you can, you can add decluttering for five minutes there if you want to. You can add decluttering to every part of your day. So four things. Pick out your clothes for tomorrow. Address your hot spots around the house before you go to bed. That's, that's going to, okay, let's, let me, let me get my card. I'm going to, I'm going to do it before bed routine right here. Here we go. I got it. I'm going now. BBR. Shine your sink. Your sink. You always go to bed with a shiny sink. Um, pick out your clothes for tomorrow. Pick out clothes. And start thinking about what's for dinner for tomorrow. Look at your calendar. Have you made your menus? Look at your calendar. What's for dinner tomorrow? Get it in the refrigerator so it can thaw. So what's for dinner? And then hot spots. So 
So before bed routine, four things and go to bed at a decent hour. That's number 11. Go to bed decent hour. I know many of you staying up too late because I am. My goal tonight is to get in bed by 1230. I didn't go to bed till one o'clock last night. So my goal tonight is to go to bed by 1230. So your before bed routine, shine your sink in your kitchen. We don't really have to check our calendars because we're not really doing anything away from home. But you can check your calendar and check the weather so you know what you can wear. So pick out your clothes. Think about what's for dinner so you can get it in the refrigerator thawing or just get it in your head and maybe write it down on a note card and put it on your kitchen counter. Uh, address the hot spots around your house before you go to bed so you get up and the house looks good and then go to bed at a decent hour. One, two, three, four, five. That's five things. That's your before bed routine. In the morning, you make your bed. As soon as you get up, Go to your bathroom and while you're getting dressed, because your clothes are in your bathroom, ready to go. You make your bed, go to your bathroom, swish and swipe, get dressed to lace up shoes, grab a load of laundry and put it in. There you go. That's, that's, make your bed to get dressed, swish and swipe the bathroom, load a laundry, and declutter for five minutes. Head to the kitchen. This is the second part of your morning routine. What's for dinner? Get it in the crock pot. Empty your dishwasher if you, ha if you haven't got an empty dishwasher. Empty your dishwasher. And there you've got it. Before bed routine, my bird's back. Before bed routine and morning routine gets everything done. Gets everything done. My husband does laundry too. He, he lets me know when he, he needs a day to do his laundry. He doesn't do a load every day. I try to do a load every day to stay on top of the dish towels and sheets. Is there a code for the shop this week? We, here's what I did. I told Justin on Monday, I said, let's keep our clean 25 to the end of April. And he said, okay, mom, that's what we'll do. So he called Michael and clean 25 is, is good. It's just a humidifier, y'all. Clean 25 is good to the end of April. And we have some great sales going on on our purple rags and our silver rags and our pink rags, pink rags. And where other people are doing price gra price gouging, we put things on sale and we gave them a 25% discount. So we are trying to take care of you right now because I know you're home. I've got a friend who's spring cleaning like crazy. Spring cleaning. And she's, she's forced into retirement right now forced into retirement. She's been working for this church for 30 years or more, and she's been forced to stay home. And she is the type of person that likes to stay busy. And Mary Jack, it's going to be okay. I told her she could do this. So everybody, let's drink up. This is your time to shine right now. Drinking your tea is an oxygen mask, and this stuff is medicinal. That's why I started drinking it, because it's medicinal. Now, I don't believe everything um, everything that people are saying that it can do, but I started drinking it because it was three different kinds of tea. I was making it myself with three different tea bags, and I was staying up really late because I had a lot of caffeine in the tea. But guess what? I'm, I feel good. I feel good. Yay! Y'all are getting some stuff done. Silver for the kitchen and purple for the rest of the house. That's a great idea. And pink just for me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I've been trying to find somebody to manufacture them in this country. 
That's what I've been spending most of my day doing today. And I hadn't found anybody yet. But we will. We will find somebody. I guarantee it. Or, or we'll do it ourselves. We will do it ourselves. Well, y'all, have a great rest of the day. Remember to put your oxygen mask on first. Put your oxygen mask on first and then you can help others. Because if you're not taking care of you, you're going to crash and burn. And we still got 28 more days to go of this enforced reti forced retirement. Some people say when they retire, they're busier than they ever were. But two cups of green tea makes me, well, this has, our tea has green tea in it. It has green tea, Earl Grey, and um, black tea. Three different types of tea. You know, I think things are going to get right back to normal when we finally get rid of this virus. And we can do it because we're smart. I was hearing a podcast today and they were talking about the Cleveland Clinic who who's already got a vaccine going. Yep, they're getting ready to go into trials with it. How cool is that? Yep. And I can't wait till we get the blood test to prove if we've had it because I think I had this stuff last April, a year ago. I think I had a bad case of something I couldn't, I could knock. And I had to have a Z pack to knock it. Let's see what somebody says. I thought there were four teas. No, there's three teas in our blend and some bergamot. Black tea, Earl Grey, and green tea. Oh, I wish I had some chickens. I would love to have some chickens, but I don't know if we could keep chickens. That would be fun to have chickens. Yes, I will get the vaccine. Yes, I will get the vaccine. Yep, because I've told Robert that I do not want to be put on a ventilator. I do not want to be put on a ventilator. And one of the things that I'm noticing from all of the, the reporting about this, this stupid virus is that people that are pre-diabetic and diabetic are more likely to die from this stuff and overweight. So I'm still doing low carb and this is a time that we can transform our bodies. Yep. What is bergamot? It's, um, it is an oil. Leanne knows more about it. She can, she can, she, we used her tea. Yeah. So we're going to get through this. I've got things to, I've got some, um, where, where is, uh, I'm taking my vitamin C. I'm taking, I got elderberry. I'm not taking the elderberry right now, but if I start to feel my throat get yucky, I will take, but I will take a lot of vitamin C. I'll be in the bathroom the whole time that I'm sick probably because of I'm taking vitamin C. But I can't wait till we got a blood test that can prove if we've had this stuff or not. I can't drink orange juice because it's a little bit too sweet for me. Yep. What, what they're saying is about half of the people that are in ICUs are overweight. So folks, we're going to get through this and we're going to get through it because we're smart. We've got common sense. You're going to protect me and I'm going to protect you. I don't know if Bergamot... So we've got to stay strong. We've got to stay strong. I wish I had had some elderberry plants. Wouldn't that be cool to have elderberry plants? But I have elderberry capsules. Elderberry capsule. You can get elderberry tea. 
I could live off of just eggs. Yeah, the aroma is mm, absolutely wonderful. I love you all. And, you know, let's go finish dinner so we can kick back and relax. And what? Here's my vitamin C. This is my vitamin C. I buy it in tubs like this. I have one in the kitchen. I have this one in here to show you. And it's just... It has a little scooper. And this little scooper is 1,000 milligrams. In fact, I think I'll put some in my tea right now. In fact, I'll put two of them in there. That's 2,000 milligrams. I got my water going in the living room and I've got five scoops in my water. And then I've got my little teaspoon. I'll stir it up. So here's Here's to taking care of you. Yep. Take care of you. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. It's Friday. And we got to come up with a way to, to sting. Let's see. Somebody's asking if you can freeze eggs. Robert made quiche and froze quiche. You can freeze eggs. I, I did a Google search for it and I, I found a way to freeze eggs, but I, I, they keep a long time in your refrigerator. So this drinking 2000 units in my tea will take me probably a couple of hours. So I'll be fine. Can you freeze milk? Yes, you can freeze milk, but you can't freeze a whole gallon of milk. You have to use part of it out of your gallon and it could separate so you may have to shake it up but I have a supply of powdered milk that I could make up and put in my refrigerator when Robert runs out of milk for cereals putting vitamin C in your smoothie for yeah Robert froze quiche pickled eggs are good that prefers them a lot you gotta have you gotta have vinegar and it's an acquired taste for pickled eggs. But you can make egg salad. I don't know if you could freeze egg salad or not. But, yep, scramble eggs and freeze into cubed. That's a good idea. But I'd kind of like to have, I'm going to talk Robert into getting us some chickens maybe. And building us a chicken coop. He kind of needs a project. Wouldn't that be kind of cool for him to have a project? Yep. And we got a place that would make a good chicken coop. That's underneath his tree house. He could have a good chicken coop there. Oh well. Dried eggs is a good thing too. It's just a supply of eggs. Y'all, we're prepared. We're going to get through this. Yes to the chicken house. Tulip, I'm afraid Tulip will love the chickens. Yep, she will love them. But if they're babies, she will love them. She will. I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.